guys, James here today and welcome back to another building video in The Sims 4. Today, as the title and thumbnail may suggest, we're building a hotel. I think I mentioned this in one of my previous builds, maybe, uh, that, I don't know, I don't know, but I, it's definitely been on my mind for a long time to build a hotel in The Sims. Not only in The Sims 4, but The 3, and because you could kind of do hotels in Sims 3 anyway with the resorts and all that, so you, you could pretty much build this in Sims 3 and it would be functional. Uh, Sims 4, not really. It's mostly just for looks. Though, the reason I, I've built this, uh, well, I've started to build this lot in a certain way that it should be usable in some aspects, because uh, I've designed this to be... Uh, either It could either be a retail store or it could be a restaurant because there's uh, in the hotel lobby as we get into it you'll see that we have like a restaurant section uh, with you know bathrooms and the kitchen and all that because you know hotel lobbies generally have a restaurant uh, and they generally have a kitchen so you can make food for the restaurant so it can be run as a restaurant or it could be run as a retail store because there are all the uh, cash registers as well and you can sell anything you wanted so at the end of the day you can use a slot for some things. Unfortunately, as a hotel, it's not something you can actually use, but I think it's pretty cool and I'm pretty excited about this and I'm having so much fun building this. I say so much fun building this because this is only part one. Uh, I really, I don't know, I, I apologize for the multi-part speed builds lately because there's been a few of them. Like we did it with the townhouses, we did it with uh, the, what was it, uh, the YouTuber slash streamer studio recently. But honestly, uh, I think it makes a lot of sense in cases where I need to spend more time because if I... I don't know, I, I feel like a 30 plus minute video tends to get a little bit too long, especially a sped up video, so that's why I like to break them up and it also gives me more time to do stuff and uh, especially in this hotel because there's so much to do and just the amount of time I spend just building the thing and revising it and fixing it uh, as well. Uh, you'll also note if the keen eyed among you, because this is built in Magnolia Promenade, which is a little world that came with Get to Work. Uh, that only has four lots, which is really dumb. I wish I did more lots in the world. Uh, but you'll note that, uh, oh, the keen eyed, uh, if cars were a thing that actually you could actually drive around in this game, they, I mean, they appear in the world as visual effects, but that's about it. Uh, you'll note that the, uh, the roads in the middle of Magnolia Promenade are actually blocked off by bollards. And you can see that's where I did the road for the cars to come in. Like, that's where you'd pull in at the front of the hotel. So that doesn't make any sense, and I also realized I probably should have had it facing towards the ocean, or whatever that is, a lake, or whatever's out that way, the water, you know? Because that would be nicer to have the entrance on the water, and I was like, ooh, whoops, ooh, probably should have done it the other way. I did actually, I, I think you'll see it in the build video, I do actually rotate the entire lot at one point, so it does face the other way, and it does make more sense, uh, which is good. But uh, I didn't realize that at the beginning, and then I was like, you know what, probably should have done this the other way. So the plan with this build, as you can see right now, a lot of what I'm doing is copying up between the floors. Now this is a hotel, uh, and if you've ever stayed in a hotel, or just been to a hotel, or looked up a hotel, you'll notice that most of their rooms have the exact same decor, they may have different layouts and all that. So what the plan for this is, is, well in this part, the first part we build the whole ground floor, the whole lobby and the restaurant and uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the next part we'll be working on all the hotel rooms, but I did lay them out, like I did the hotel layout. Uh, so the plan is, uh, we're gonna do one of the floors upstairs with all the bedrooms and all that, and they'll be pretty basic because hotel rooms usually are, you know, bed, side table, bathroom, uh, maybe a set of drawers and a TV. And that's usually about it, maybe a piece of artwork, nothing too crazy. Uh, so we'll be doing that, and then we're going to copy that floor up. So we'll have two floors that are pretty much identical. The third floor, the third floor of rooms, it's actually the fourth floor. The fourth floor, uh, I'm going to mix up a little bit. We're going to get some larger hotel rooms up there, you know, maybe some suites. Uh, not a penthouse, because a penthouse would take up the whole floor. And unfortunately, because we only have four floors above ground, uh, I, if we had more, maybe the fifth level, we could use that. But uh, I don't, we won't be doing any penthouses in this, I don't think. Uh, but we'll do some like suites and two bedroom hotel rooms and all that kind of stuff uh, on the on the fourth floor, I reckon. So the two middle floors will be the same, top floor will be different. Uh, and then of course the lobby is different as well. So I thought I'd, you know, give it a bit of depth and variety by having this sunken section there, which is actually where the restaurant's going to go. The restaurant will be lowered down beneath the actual lobby area. I really, really wish that uh, with the Sims 4 City Living, the elevators that came with it, were actually functional, because you know how perfect that would be for this? In the end, I kind of... Because what I'm imagining with this build, you can see uh, sort of where you enter there, I have that big diagonal block in the middle of the room. That's kind of like... Uh, well, like the management office, you know, that's behind the front desk. So the front desk will go in front of it. Uh, that's like the management office behind it. The other idea is that you'd have elevators in it around the other side, because a lot of the time, or a lot of hotels, they can be around behind the front desk or just, you know, that's what I was thinking. You know, the elevators would be around the back there. Oh man, how I wish we had functional elevators. 
<laughs> instead of just uh, <laughs> so sad. You know, I think the sad thing is, and I've, I think I've said this before in other builds, is once they add something into The Sims 4, they generally will not add it again, if that makes sense. Like, since they've added elevators in air quotes, they're probably unlikely to revisit elevators and make them a placeable item, which is unfortunate. One can hope, though. I can hope. I mean, maybe if we all yell at them to make elevators that actually work, it'll happen. Also, spiral stairs and L-shaped stairs and lots of other stairs instead of just straight stairs because that's really boring and we need something different to get upstairs. You know, how about a ladder as well? Bring back the ladder from The Sims 3. That was sweet. Um, so, just doing the rest of the layout here on the bottom floor. Uh, I did end up with some weird triangle-shaped rooms, uh, which... So they're going to become bathrooms, which becomes interesting. I do that, like, right near the end of this part, but, uh... Anyway, so here I'm just trying to figure out how we get upstairs. Uh, I kind of imagine the stairs as, like... In my head, the stairs don't exist, you know? Like, in my head, there'd be elevators there, I think, because it makes more sense. It may, uh, it's just annoying. It's just really annoying. So, uh I initially start off doing the layout of this floor here. Uh, so again, the hallways, uh, the hallways start off pretty big. I, I just, so I'm just trying to figure it out and work it out in my head because obviously all the hotel rooms need to be on the outside of the building because we need windows. Uh, so we can't have any interior rooms just because there's nowhere to have windows. You may also notice that these rooms are absolutely colossal. Uh, at the moment, which I did realize later on. I hadn't thought it through very well at this point. Uh, so I'm just copying what I have, moving it up the floor above so that we'd have the same layout on every floor. And then I was like, you know what? Actually, these rooms are huge. They're like way too big. Because if you think about it, a, like a general hotel room is pretty small. It's just a bathroom and the bedroom. Uh, it's pretty small. Pretty much usually just fits the double bed. There might be a twin room or whatever, or a slightly bigger room, or even a slightly smaller room. Uh, a place that I stayed in London, actually, semi well, was the last trip I went on, actually, was when I went to London. Uh, I stayed in this, what was it called? The Z Hotel, uh, in near Old Street Tube Station. You can look it up if you want. Uh, they have, like, the world's tiniest rooms. Like, they're really, really nice rooms. Like, everything is super modern, super clean, but it's so tiny. It's like, you walk in... And let's, let's use this in terms of grid squares in the sim. So you walk in, uh, you have a one square wide hallway that's three deep. So one by three would be the walking space. And that's literally it. At the end of that is the bed that takes up the whole back side of the room. Then you have the bathroom unit on the left, which is also like one by three. You have a toilet, sink, and a shower. It was really small, but it was so cozy. And it was actually quite nice. I mean, for me, hotel rooms, as long as they are... Look, at the end of the day, as long as the hotel room is bed... Is comfortable. That's kind of all that matters to me because usually all you do in a hotel room is sleep, right? You just go sleep and then you get up and go out the next day. You're not spending all day in there, so it didn't need to be like the best thing ever. Unless you're, you know, I don't know, a freaking president or something and you're going somewhere to do work and you need a hotel room. That makes sense. But for me, when I travel, I'm not staying in a hotel room the whole time. So I don't generally mind as long as the room is clean and the bed is comfy. Um, but yeah, anyway, that, my point was, the hotel rooms that I had built upstairs are absolutely huge, and that's not really what I wanted, uh, and I go through and change that. So here we are just doing the front desk, uh, which I was originally going to use a half wall to put around it, but I was like, you know what, no, let's, uh, if we just place the original, like, the one right in the middle, and then align all the other counters to it, it should be fine. So that's where I, so I did the, I did the front uh, desk because that's when I was like, you know what, this could also be a retail lot. So if we leave room for that, that'll be quite good. So here is where I've, you know, all the rooms have been redone. I think I jumped forward there a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we kind of already saw the layout. So this one makes a little bit more sense. It's more like your typical hotel room, or at least that's what I'm trying to do. Your typical hotel room, you'll enter into a little hallway on the right or on the left will be the bathroom, and then at the back of the room will be the bed. That's usually how a hotel room looks, unless it's some exception to the rule. Anyway, that's what I'm going with, uh, from my own experience and just generally what it's like. Also, I really like, so I've used the good old basketball court flooring again. My absolutely, f my favorite flooring by far. I used the grey colour one in this because I actually really liked it. I mean, I really like the colour scheme in this building. So we've got the grey floorboards, the sort of, uh, I guess, muted kind of brown on the, like, wood on the wall. Then we have those grey slate tiles. Uh, and then there's also the, uh, what's the other pattern I use? I used, oh, and there's like the black tiles as well. Those ones. Yeah, I really like it. I don't know. It just seemed really classy and I really, really liked it. So that's what I did. I also put the courtyard in the middle there, which I don't think, did we see me building that? Ah, oh, damn. I, I think I, I either forgot to record a section or... 
Maybe it's out of order. Ooh. Nope, forgot to record that section, but that's okay. It was just doing the layouts and uh, chucking in the courtyard. Yeah, not too much missed there. I mean, we still got lots to go anyway. We got all the we got all the best bits to go anyway, all the furnishings. So uh, here I'm just again just working on the layout. So you know, generally hotel rooms will also have a wardrobe space. So I thought I'd chuck in this built-in robe in all of the rooms, uh, so we can see how that all fits in together. Some of the rooms, because their position is a bit weird. It doesn't, I don't know, it's kind of hard, like this room here specifically has a huge bathroom, but like, it, like the bedroom is about the same size. Uh, I might, like, they're not done. Like, I haven't actually finished this, this build. Like, I'll be working on it tomorrow for me. So you guys should actually be able to give feedback on this video to influence the rest of the build, which is good. So leave your feedback down below of any ideas you may have to sort of maybe fix some of Because it's not, not, not the rooms are broken, but I think I'm just going to revisit some of them because some of the layouts just don't really work. Uh, some of them are really good and they flow just fine. And then the others just don't work. Uh, yeah, I went through and did a basic color scheme and all of them, uh, using the wood and just a, a plain sort of gray wall. And we have gray carpet as well. I don't know if that's going to stay the same, but I just wanted it to look like something. Yeah, I just wanted it to have uh, some wallpaper and not just be blank because the blank one was not inspiring any sort of creativity at all. So just putting some colors on the wall, I think just brings it up, you know raises it up, makes it look a little bit more complete, which I liked. And it also just helped me sort of visualize what it's going to look like when it's done, I think. Uh, but yeah, just pretty basic uh, wallpapers and flooring there, and then I'm going to see how it goes. I'm just getting all the doors in as well. Uh, yeah, so some of the rooms we might be able to do... Some of the rooms I think are a tad bigger, so we might even be able to do some twin bedrooms if we're lucky, but I'm not really sure. Uh, now, a lot of the building, like the, the two floors up the top, so the bottom two floors are the ones that we're kind of working on today. The the ones above that, uh, like a lot of the windows aren't even in place and a lot of the stuff just isn't there. So if you're like, oh, you've missed a window here or there, it's like, well, yeah, it's because I haven't really done it yet. So don't worry about that. Kind of just focusing on the second floor and the ground floor. Uh, more so than, you know, the ones up top, because they're not done at all. So I thought this courtyard area could be a nice place to go sit out, get some fresh air, and just a nice, pretty much just a chill-out zone, you know, like you have, uh, all the, all the hotel room, and it's just a nice common space as well, like you have the lobby downstairs to go hang out, but this, I thought, was a nice area for the, like, hotel guests could go just hang out, have a chat, maybe have some drinks from the bar, just relax and have a good time, like, that was the idea. So it's got a nice, and actually that tree, the tree that I put there actually fit really well, uh, like it go, it doesn't, exceed the height of the building so from all the floors above you can see the tree and down into the courtyard but it doesn't go higher than the building which i thought was kind of cool and then we just filled up these little flower beds here and made them nice and colorful as well and nothing nothing too crazy but it was just a nice little courtyard area which i thought was kind of fun because the problem was like I, like i was saying earlier we couldn't have any hotel rooms there because there's no windows and it's not a freaking cruise ship where you have rooms in the depths of the hull and with no windows which uh you know, anyway, the point was, because we couldn't get any hotel rooms in there, I thought, well, we either just turn that into a large lobby area on every level, which we already have a lobby area off to the side, or we turn it into a courtyard, which I thought was quite nice, because then you get some more natural light coming in and a place to hang out, which I thought was quite cool. So here I was just going around and trying to pick some colors for the hotel, which I'm still not 100% set on the color scheme. It's pretty basic. It was just white and then uh, just like a gray sort of column, which I think I think it looks good in the color scheme that we have, but I don't know if there's a, there's a better option. Uh, I don't know. Let me know. I, I think it looks pretty good, but it could be better. I don't know. But yeah, just playing around with that here because we, uh, but because I was focusing so much on the interior, I was like, I kept putting off doing the exterior in terms of the looks and the color scheme. I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with it. So I was just like, let's just go. I was actually kind of looking for a, um, uh, you know, like one of the foundations has like a, a horizontal white stone stripe kind of texture. I don't know what to call it. But I was like, that could be kind of cool because this could be, because it looks like it, it doesn't look like this building does not look like some sort of new structure right it, it, i don't think it looks like a modern build it looks like an old building that had been renovated or something just because of the way it looks uh it could even be some sort of i don't know old frenchy style but not really i don't know <laughs> look a lot of people say hey you should be an architect or something and i get that comment a lot and i really appreciate that thank you first of all thank you uh second of all i don't know much about architectural styles and i just kind of build what i like uh so <laughs> you may notice me trying to explain stuff i'm like oh i don't know what style that is it's something uh maybe someone knows what style this building is on the outside because i certainly do not so i put these counters here like mostly in the wall 
which I thought was a cool idea because I I have seen this at hotels before, you know, where they have the drawers behind uh, the, you know, behind the check-in desk where they can go pull out whatever they need, uh, but they don't stick out from the wall and they don't have a counter on them. So I was like, all right, if we just sink them into the wall there, that'll work quite well. And I've used that sign there as like, you know, that's the hotel name or the hotel sign, whatever the, this place is called, that's the name of it. Uh, and then that sort of brought about the old black and gold theme that is so strong in vintage glamour stuff. So I actually used quite a few of the vintage glamour stuff things uh, in this build and got the real strong black and gold kind of scheme going on throughout. It looks really like, I, I really love the color scheme. You've got the, the white marble tiles, you've got these gray slate tiles on the wall, these black tiles, and then like this more natural muted brown wood as well. And I was just like, hey, you know what? I really like the scheme of this place. Uh, and I, I think when the furniture starts going in as well, it's like, I'm just like, oh, this is good. Yeah, so behind the front desk there is the, you know, the management office, as I was saying before. Uh, so here I'm doing, you know, when you go to a hotel, they tend to have clocks with times from all around the world. So I thought we'd do four of them and then we'd have like one main clock in the middle, which the big clock, the big extravagant clock, as you can see, uh, is the, you know, that would be the local time. And then maybe the other four would be wherever, you know, just popular places around the world. Uh, that was the idea behind that, and I thought that was quite fun. Here I am just trying to decide what to do. So lobbies of hotels tend to just have a lot of places to sit down uh, because, you know, people might be waiting to check in, waiting to check out, just hanging out, waiting for a meeting, that kind of stuff. So we did plenty of seating all around the place. I was careful to make sure not to block off any main passageways. Like I almost did there, we're putting in the sofa, but I was like, you know what, we can't put the sofa there. Uh, let's just block that off a little bit. I also thought with this one, this is the only place that has like a half wall around the seating area. I thought that'd be nice because then it sort of, uh, I guess in a way sections off this little seating area so you could have a group of people in here uh, and not they wouldn't overflow into some other area it's also the only place that has I think mirrored coffee tables uh, I only use those there I think but I really like them you know I had I had fun placing this you know what I had fun building this whole lobby because it was just as I've said in other builds in other builds that aren't you know a regular sims build I've always said this I'm just like you know what it's just fun it's just fun building this because it doesn't do anything at the end of the day but it's just fun. <laughs> and other, other popular suggestions I've got along with like, you know, building a hotel is building like a school as well. Some people ask me to do, and I think um, people ask me to build a police station, but I've already done that before, by the way, just as a little shout out to myself. I did Let's Build a Cop Shop series uh, where we built a police station. So we did do that. Uh, I don't know. What else? There's a few other things. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, there you go. We can check off hotel from the list, or at least not yet. Not until we're completely finished, but nearly done. Uh, should I think, I think there'll only be two parts of this, but I cannot guarantee that because I haven't done the other bit yet, which I normally, I normally do this. I normally do the build all in one go, just so I know how many parts it's going to be. And also so it's done and you, I don't string you along forever. Uh, but I think this should be done in two parts because, because we did like, so... Like I said, we got to do. We basically got to finish two more floors, and one of the floors is going to be, you know, different different laid out bedrooms or hotel rooms, but all the same items because it's a hotel, so it's all the same items. So it should be pretty quick. Once I design the aesthetic of one room to be able to just quickly place it in all the others, I think I don't think that should be a problem at all. Uh, and then we got to do the the hotel suites, which will be a little bit different. So I don't know. We'll oh we can oh should have called this the sweet life. Oh, you know what? People actually, that's one thing I always get requested to build. It's like re like recreate houses or buildings from you know TV shows or movies, and I think I at one point mentioned that I was like I was going to try and do that, uh, but the reason I generally don't do that or recreate stuff from real life is because I always find that it while it is still has the the puzzle element which I like in games. You know, like I like trying to solve how to how to do something. You know, like in this build, just solving how to like build a hotel like that kind of stuff I don't know I feel like it when I recreate something it kind of I guess hinders the creativity that I can put into it because then what I'm doing is you know looking at reference pictures or floor plans and just copying it over and I don't know I don't personally like doing that not because it's uh not because it's a bad thing but just because I don't I don't know I just like to create my own thing so that, that's just one request I always get as well. It's like, you know, build this from X show. And I think I said I was going to do that at one point. And I was like, nah, I've decided not to. Because I, I just like building my own things, I guess. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm an idiot. I don't know. You tell me. Tell me in the comments down below if I'm an idiot. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, so this is the little restaurant area. Uh, I decided... So these counters over there are supposed to be like a buffet kind of table thing. And there is, I believe... Did they add a buffet in Sims 4? I think they did. 
I think there is actually a buffet table, but I decided not to use it uh, because... We didn't need it. If this is going to be used as a restaurant, you have the restaurant bar. Uh, the kitchen is off there, up the stairs. Uh, that's where the kitchen's going to be. And then, so down the bottom, then you have like the coffee machine and the little drinks tray. And there's like a few things down there. Uh, and the popcorn machine as well. So I thought that'd be kind of fun. It's like, you know, when you come down on breakfast, I have like the breakfast spread or something. And then you, could, then you could also order off the menu if you wanted. Obviously, not all hotels. But this is a this looks like a pretty fancy hotel. So you'd imagine that you could order something. Using lots of mirrors and paintings and making it look good. Oh yeah! Thought I'd bring in some bamboo here as well, because uh, I wanted some greenery on the side there. I, I felt like the hedges, the wall hedges, were a little too much, because I cu just covered up the windows completely, whereas the bamboo you can still see through to the windows. Uh, yeah. So I decided to mix, uh, you can see, uh, you've seen from before that I'm bringing in some of those yellow sofas here and there. It's yellow, yellow little uh, poofs, like the little flat stool things. Uh, I don't know, I thought the yellow was quite nice. Because, I mean, we already have the, the sort of black and gold theme anyway, so the yellow fits in quite well. And I thought it, you know, it gave it a bit of a uh, bit of interest. I don't know. I, it just feels fancy to me. It feels fancy to build. And I, I really love it. So, yeah, this kitchen should be completely usable with Dine Out as, like, a restaurant. Because we've got the two chef stations. I haven't actually done the uh, the wait station or the uh, the host station. Oh, host podium, whatever it's called. So there's no, there's no like a uh, waiter station or hosting thing, but those are pretty easy to put in. Uh, so that should be pretty easy to sort of retrofit those in somewhere into the into the hotel. Uh, so that should be good. Now I highly anticipate by the time that this build is done, there will be so many items on this lot that it will become laggy. Uh, like the frame rate will just be low. I highly anticipate that. So what I'm assuming that you could do. And this is what I've said in previous builds as well. When I did like the apartment complex build, for example, I, I mentioned that you might as well just choose the, the rooms that you want to use and delete the ones that you're not. Uh, so, and especially because in this hotel, I've said already that two of the floors are going to be pretty much exactly the same. So then you could, if it was, if there's going to be too many, I'm hoping there won't be that, like it shouldn't be too bad because hotel rooms, like I said, generally aren't you know, super detailed or super cluttered. They usually just have bed, side tables, picture, dresser, and a bathroom. So that's not too many items. I think it might be okay. Like, the, the most detailed area that we have in this hotel is going to be the lobby. And so far, it's been running fine. And generally, what I've noticed about The Sims 4 is that if you can run... I don't know. If you can run The Sims 4, generally the performance loss will be the same. I don't know. It's weird. Like, the... The performance of Sims 4 is a, is a big question mark to me. I don't, I don't really know. Because I think on, even on lower end systems, if you have your, your settings turned down, it should still be fine. I don't know. I mean, you guys can let me know when I release this because this is not available for download just yet. It will be, if, especially if you're watching in the future. It already is. If you're watching in the future, there's a link down below in the description uh, to download it. Or you can search for The Sim Supply on the gallery, which is my origin ID, which is the same... My origin name is the same as my YouTube channel name, right? The Sim Supply. One word, no spaces, and you can find me that way. Uh, so you can download it in the future. If you're watching this on the day that it comes out, I'm sorry, you have to wait a little bit. Uh, sorry for the tease, but it's coming soon. Coming real soon. So yeah, these bathrooms are actually kind of annoying to build as you may... Oh my god, it's moving so fast. Sorry. I moved a lot trying to do this, obviously. Uh, yeah, because these bathrooms are... Well, one of them particularly is literally just in a triangle. The freaking triangle bathroom. That was the most annoying to build in. But it means we got a good use out of that space. Like, I don't think there's anything else that could go in there. And we needed bathrooms for the lobby because hotels, you know, they need bathrooms. Uh, so we did that in there. I haven't decided if I was going to... I can't. I, I think I was... Oh, you know what? I think I was going to do a basement. And I think I still might. Because hotels usually have like a gym. Or not usually. Some hotels have a gym or a pool or both. And we don't have anywhere else to put it. And if we put it anywhere else, it would take up too much room. And I think if we go into the basement, just one level of basement, we could do a pool and a gym. And maybe even a spa if we wanted to. But probably not a spa. Probably just a, a pool and a gym. I think that could be a good idea. So I might add that in next time. Because uh, I haven't done it yet. But I think that that's what I wanted to do. Because I was like, you know what? I need to... I really need to get that in. Because it's a hotel. Like, that's... That's a big oversight. And then you could also use this lot as a gym if you wanted to. You could set it as a gym, a restaurant, or a retail lot, which is pretty cool because that means this lot technically doesn't have any uses, but it also has three uses, right? So that could be pretty fun. I mean, you could use it as a home as well if you wanted to, but it'd be a bit silly. Anyway, here are a few teaser screenshots of what we've done so far. Obviously, when the build is completely done, 
we'll have all the screenshots, but here's a few that I thought kind of showed it off quite nicely. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below for this build and other builds coming up into the future. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed this because I had a lot of fun building this and I cannot wait to finish this build off. There is a lobby. Look at it. It's beautiful. Absolutely love this build. Uh, so yeah, this is a hotel in The Sims 4, even though you can't build hotels in The Sims 4. You might also notice the outside of the build is kind of blank at the moment. Like I said, not done yet, so don't worry about that too much. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all from me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.